Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm helping you level up your communication skills. And in this episode, we're going to be leveling up our energy levels by strategically using words. You ever heard the phrase, that person, his energy is just contagious. When we use a phrase like that, we're implying that this person is using their energy in the right way. Because in the communication skills world, all energy is not good energy. Untamed energy is one of the worst things you could have. For example, one of those people that talk a little too much, has that loud hyena laugh, is constantly interrupting people. This group has energy, just not the good kind. When we use a phrase like, this person's energy is just contagious, we're basically implying that this individual has tamed energy. They have enthusiasm, and along with that enthusiasm, they're able to relay a message which is leaving others better off. You gotta realize this, in the communication skills world, enthusiasm is one of the most powerful superpowers that you can have. Enthusiasm comes from the Greek word entheos, and entheos means the God within. So for all of us, we should be finding a way where we're unlocking that enthusiasm, we're cultivating it, and we're able to maintain it as we're having different interactions. That's when we hear stuff like, you know, your energy is just contagious. We all wanna hear a phrase like that. Now, the problem with some of us is that we are unable to control our energy. Armani, do I have energy? Yes. If you feel emotions, then you have energy. Let me give you the formula for emotions. Emotions equal energy plus perception. So, if you're someone that has any kind of emotions, then congratulations. You have energy. Yes. Can I celebrate? Not yet. Because just because you have energy doesn't necessarily mean that you know how to control that energy. Are you in charge of your perception? That's key. In the hard skills world, we learn how to use instruments. In the soft skills world, we become the instrument. When you're learning how to communicate with other people, it's a game of perception that matters. What coding is to computers, storytelling is to humans. It's the story, the narrative, the words that can influence our perception. And that's why we're using words strategically to change our energy levels, to unlock our inner God, our enthusiasm. That's what we're gonna be doing. In this episode, I'm going to be giving you three word hacks. The first one is going to help you feel younger. I don't want to feel younger, said no one ever. The second one is going to help you feel more creative. And the third one is going to help you feel fearless. By strategically using these three hacks and combining it, we are able to cultivate energy within us. We're able to further control our perception. And from there, we're able to direct that energy, and unlock something powerful within. So if you're ready and excited for today's episode, be sure to drop that like for me right on below. So the first word hack, instead of saying you're this many years old, say your level and then insert your age. So let's say you're a 45 year old individual. You want to say I'm level 45. What am I, a Power Ranger? No, 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 you don't wanna view it like that. You don't wanna view it like that because it's something much, much deeper. For objects, we should be saying, oh, this is this many years old. And we could do that because these are just objects. But when you call humans, you're this many years old, you're basically making this human too body focused. Yes. Their body is eventually going to grow old, it's going to grow weak and all of that. And we don't want to keep reinforcing that perception. We want to gently transition away from body focused to mind focused. So when you say level, it's a completely different connotation. And rather than focusing on the finite, you're now focusing on the infinite. 
It gets you more mind focused and gets you looking forward to each birthday. You'd be surprised how many people are feeling sad when their birthday is coming up. They're like, ah, oh, man, another year that I'm passing my prime. They think like that because they think of their body as objects. Heck, they only think in body level intelligence. So try shifting that and say level. I get it. And we've been using years old for who knows how long. It's ingrained in culture. So you don't necessarily need to get everyone else to focus on levels. Remember, we're not trying to control everyone else's energy. We're trying to control our own energy. So in this context, just try it out. Try saying level more often and see the immediate change in perspective that you're feeling. This first hack is going to help you feel younger. The second one is to say the phrase, I'm just getting started. Why? Armani, why am I going to say a phrase like that? And what am I getting started on? It's good that you asked a question like that. Because traditionally, our mind, our intellectual mind, wants these little deadlines. It likes finite commands. But when you don't give it a finite command, what you're doing is you're shifting from the intellectual mind to the imaginative mind. And due to the law of closure, where the human mind naturally wants to close things, if I'm just over here doing this to you, and I'm like, yo dude, how's your day going? You can't necessarily concentrate. You just wanna grab my fingers and put them together. That right there is the law of closure. When you say, now I'm just getting started, your imaginative mind is starting to get activated. And it's saying, get started for what? What are you trying to get started for? And you're not giving it an answer. At this point, your imaginative mind is going to keep trying to close the loop. As it's trying to close the loop, you're going to feel more creative. If you were sitting on your butt doing absolutely nothing, your imaginative mind is going to make you more curious about different things that can put you on a track towards progress. You're going to have an infinite behavior, not a finite behavior, but an infinite behavior, which is going to unlock powerful energy levels within you. That's number two. And the third one is to refer to your fears as hobbies. This is one that I've personally seen the most results with in my life. I used to hate public speaking. Don't get me wrong, man. I used to hate public speaking and I didn't even like speaking in front of the camera. I didn't like doing anything communication skills related. But life started to change when I stopped calling stuff a speech anxiety and all that stuff and started to call it speech excitement. But more importantly, when I got to the heart of the issue, I stopped referring to so many things as fears and started calling them hobbies. Why? It's because fear and hobby are, for, are both words. But fear is imbued with negativity. It's imbued with being small. It's making you a very small particle-like creature. While hobbies, there's something magical to it. But Armani, you didn't like public speaking. You didn't like doing all this communication skills stuff. So why are you calling it a hobby? I'm calling it a hobby because my mind, the subconscious mind, isn't able to logically break things down so much. If I keep on repeating that this is a hobby, eventually the subconscious mind is going to be like, man, this is really a hobby for this dude. And that's what guided me back into the world of public speaking multiple times until I started to view it as a hobby. Thought is the precursor to action. So if you can start winning your mind over with these little tricks by saying hobbies instead of fear, saying excitement instead of anxiety, it starts to believe it over time. Granted, you're going to have to still take physical action as well in the real world. You don't just want to be sitting on your butt and be like, yeah, man, I have hobbies in skydiving. I have hobbies in swimming with sharks. I have hobbies. You, know, you don't want to be sitting on your butt and making this another intellectual exercise. But think about it like this. If you're going to be doing public speaking anyways, do you want your mind to view it as a fear or as a hobby? Think about that. As you repeat it, 
You're going to become more brave. You're going to see if you could conquer one fear, what's preventing you from not conquering another one and another one and another one. DJ Khaled voice. So these are the three hacks that you can start leveraging today to influence your behavior, to unlock your energy levels, and to awaken the God within, to awaken the energy levels that makes you more enthusiastic. That energy is contagious. The first one is to say levels instead of years old. The second one is to say, man, I'm just getting started. And the third one is to get to a point where you're calling your fears, hobbies, and match it with intentful action. You combine these three into a nice little synergy and you start unlocking energy levels. Your perception starts to match with your energy to a point where you feel as though energy is just imbuing out of you. And that's when communication skills becomes effortless. It's no longer filled with so much tension. You're not so intellectual focused anymore. You could finally have fun. That's what we want. Communication skills is a game of soft skills. Like I said earlier, hard skills is about learning to use instruments. Soft skills is about becoming the instrument. So become the right instrument. Play in the right way and you're able to easily communicate with grace. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to drop that like right on below and you share this video on your social media of choice. Thank you for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel and I'll catch you on the next episode.